I can do this! I can do this! <laughs> is it hot in here, Mrs. Bob? <laughs> Why is it so hot in here? <laughs> ah! My hand! My hand is cramping, Mrs. Bob! Make it stop! You only need three more! Wow! <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Neil. And this is gonna be my first MLB The Show content on this channel. And we're getting started with a straight banger. Now look, I know what you're thinking. Neo, the program just dropped on Friday. It's Wednesday the 19th. How do you already have 900 program stars? How are you hacking the game? Who do you know at SDS? Are you Ramon's cousin? Nah. All right, look, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. It's very easy and it only will cost you about $40. And as I get into this method, I'm gonna show you why it's worth every single penny especially if you're not max prestige level like I am. It will pay for itself in a second. You'll save yourself hours of time and it is 100% worth it. Hang with me and I'll show you exactly why. Now, before we really get into this, I'd like to say shout out to Gomes the Legend. I use his program star method as the baseline of mine. I'm gonna leave a link to his channel and his video in the description. And also shout out to Hi, I'm Serenity. He's a streamer and content creator as well. If it weren't for him, I might not even made this video to begin with. I'm going to leave a link to his social media in the description as well. Let's get into this now. now as I get into this method, I'm going to tell you the three things you need in order to pull this off. Number one, you're going to need a standard PS4 controller. Any controller will do. This part is just as simple as it gets. Right here, any controller, boom, you're good to go. Number two, you're going to need tape. Scotch tape, masking tape, duct tape, gorilla tape, it don't matter. Any kind of tape. All right, that's what you're gonna need for that. And number three, the part where you need to spend a little bit of money, $40, that's it. I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And it is the Hori Fighting Commander. And I have it right here. Put it on the screen for y'all. Hori Fighting Commander, I got it on Amazon for about 40 bucks. And the most important part of this controller is this button right here, the turbo function. This is a lifesaver, time saver, hundreds of hours saved. It's the reason why after really only four days, I'm at 900 um, program stars. And it's also the reason why I got to level prestige 100 as fast as I did with not as much uh, team affinity uh, progress as you would think somebody would have in my position right now. You can look at my team affinities right here. I do got some done here and there. A lot of it I bought, but I did not make majority of my levels from grinding team affinity. Some, but not as much as other guys, all right? So no cap here, 100%. This is the method you need to use. Now, once again, shout out to Gomes the Legend. This part of the method starts off just like his. All you have to do is start any franchise mode. Uh, you can use current rosters, custom rosters, it doesn't matter. Uh, my team, obviously, are the Cleveland Indians, so I'm going to go with them. Advance. Uh, again, the settings don't matter, so just advance with those. Do whatever you got to do. Coaching, blah, blah, blah. doesn't matter. Advance. You literally just advance, and I think you can do spring training, but it really doesn't make a difference. I believe I went with the regular season path. Here comes in the part where you need to have your second controller that has a turbo function on it. Uh, again, for me, I'm using the Hori Fighting Commander. You're gonna go to play next game. You're gonna go to play full game. And this part is actually very important. To get the program stars and XP the most possible, make sure your PS4 controller, which is logged into your main account, is always the away team. Um, you could do home team, but again, it's way easier if you just make it the away team and you'll see why once we get started. Your fighting commander um, or your turbo controller, whichever controller you have, some people might already have one that has turbo, is going to go to the home team. Even though my team I chose in the franchise are the Indians, it doesn't make a difference. I can use other teams and it will still work just the same. Before I get into the game here, my only thing I have done with the settings is set it to legend difficulty. That is one part of the settings that I have adjust it so if you're not if you don't have your settings as it is on legend already you should change that to legend okay we're now in the game and this is where i'm going to show you guys exactly how to set it up and how the controller kind of works so it may be different on some different kinds of uh turbo controllers 
but for the Hori 5D controller in particular, you're going to hold the turbo button down, right? And you're going to double tap circle first, and then you're gonna double tap X. What that does is it then sets it to where circle and X um, get hit multiple times automatically. And it is very important that you hit circle first before you hit X. And you're gonna see why once we get into the method. So I'm gonna do that right now. Get into the game, I'm holding down the turbo button and I'm double tapping circle and I'm double tapping X. Now he's gonna throw the first pitch. Now the next part of this method, you're going to hold down L1. At this point, I am no longer, I am no longer touching circle and I'm no longer touching the X button. I set the turbo function to the circle button and the X button already. And as you can see, the game is intentionally walking with me just holding down the L1 button. Again, you're gonna want to hold down the turbo button and double tap circle. And then you're gonna hold down the turbo button again and double tap X. You do circle before X because every single time they ask to walk, you're gonna hit circle and then you're gonna hit X. It goes by real fast on the screen, but that's what's going on on screen. And when you hold L1 down, that's of course allowing you to walk the batter. And the next part is pretty obvious. You take your tape, whatever you got, and you simply tape down the L1 button. I already had tape on mine, so I'm just gonna smooth it down. And now as you can see, I'm not touching anything and it's going to intentionally walk itself. Right, I'm going to show this to you guys one more time. You're going to hold turbo, double tap circle, double tap X, and you're going to hold down the L1 button. You're going to get your first pitch, of course, and now that you're holding down L1, it's going to automatically do the walks for you. Simple as that. Get your tape. I have tape on there right here. Pull it down. Make sure it's tight enough to where it stays. Sometimes for me, it's come loose. And if I had to come back and fix it, I'm actually going to add one more layer to it. Uh, make sure it's down on there. And just to make sure you guys know nothing's going on. Both hands up. Controller up. Not touching anything. And it's running. This is the method I use to get 900 program stars in four days. I'm making the video now on August the 19th, Wednesday program dropped uh, last Friday and I actually had this done uh, Tuesday the 18th yesterday and all you have to do is you let this run for an hour and it gives you 20 program stars guaranteed now I would love for this to be able to let you just have it sit and farm program stars as long as you let it sit but they have capped the amount of program stars you can earn per game to 20 program stars again so what if you're only doing this for program stars and you don't need the XP you let this run for about an hour, it'll get you anywhere from 720 to 760 runs, and that will get you right where you need to be to have 20 stars. And what you do is you double tap the home button, and then you come back and it actually resets the turbo settings you put down. And then you can just pause the game and you simulate to the end and exit. Let me actually take this tape off. You would then simulate to the, um, go to the end of the, the screen there, hit simulate and exit. You just skip to the end of the game. Boom. Game over. You get back to the home screen and you'll see how much XP you got. And it would obviously show you whatever uh, reward you hit on the program path. After you grind out or not even grind out, you just go do whatever you, you want to do. Let the controller sit. They'll get the program stars for you. And if you're in my position where you're only doing it for the program stars, you would just simulate to the end. I've already done that here on the screen. And in order to reset your turbo function, just double tap the home button here and come back and it'll clean it up. Uh, on the Hori Fighting Commander, I don't know if you noticed, but it was actually a green light flashing here. That lets you know that it's working and that it is uh, rapid firing the buttons you assigned it to. And again, you just double tap the home button, get back in, and then it'll reset it for you so you don't have to worry about trying to do it manually. And from this point, you will just go exit and then you'll go get your XP, your program stars. Now, if you are in a position where you're not at max uh, prestige level yet, 
you can let this sit for four to five hours and it will get you maxed out for the amount of XP you can get every day. And if you don't know, the maximum amount of XP you can get per 24 hours is 150,000 XP. And that's about 3.75 prestige levels um, a day. So if you let this run, even if you, you know, already got the program stars, but you're not maxed out prestige level yet and you want to get Thame, Springer, or JRAM, this is the best method for that because you can literally just let it sit and it will it can earn you XP while you're at work, at school, doing homework, whatever, whatever you got going on. You don't have to be sitting here, you know, hands cramping, spamming the button uh, or doing the Gomes method the original way where you're doing exactly this, but you're actually manually walking the guy. That could be boring. It could be, it's honestly just a waste of time. This is by far the best method out there. Straight domer. No one else has got this method out. This is the way to go. We're back here in my Diamond Dynasty home screen. Again, I'm in a position, fortunately, where I'm already at level 100 prestige. So I'm only doing this for the program stars. If in that situation, you're just gonna do exactly what I showed you. Let it run for an hour. Once you're between 700 and 760 runs, you're good to go. You can simulate to the end and you just go to the next game and do the exact same thing. As you can see here, you get all these awards, 900 program stars, gets you to the end here. Unfortunately, I did not get any of the good rounds here at the end, but who knows? Uh, I know this can help a lot of people because not everyone plays this game as their main game like I do. And a lot of the time they can't get their way to 900 stars every single program. But um, I've actually been doing this method for the last few programs. Um, but I just recently found out that I can set the turbo function to two different buttons at the same time, which then led me to figuring out this one. And this is by far the quickest I've ever gotten to the amount of program stars that I've gotten to here. And I can actually go to the programs and show you that I've maxed out all the other ones. Um, here I'm at 900 at 900 in uh, the six inning program. Same with the fifth one. I was doing a different kind of method here that involved two of those controllers. But now I found this one and it's 10 times easier. Yeah, again, 900 out of 900, uh, 600 out of 600, like every single program I've gotten maxed out. And this is why I think it is 100% worth it to drop $40 on getting this control. Honestly, it literally pays for itself. Yeah, you're dropping 40 and, you know, this is usually a game where, especially a lot of people play free to play. And it's actually very rewarding to free to play players. But to me, the amount of time that you can save doing this instead of having to grind, especially trying to grind to get to the initial 300 stars to begin with, not only does it save you time there, but it also saves you stubs because now there's no point of even trying to get the voucher. There's there's no need to get that voucher anymore. You let this run for three hours, you already made up majority of the stars that you get from that voucher anyway. So that's it for the video. Thank you for bearing with me. This is my first ever video I've edited it and put up on this channel. It's, it's really weird looking at myself on video, but I'm sure at some point I'll get used to that. I appreciate y'all coming through. If you liked the video and you found this helpful, please like, please subscribe. I'm going to try to upload more consistently and stream more consistently. And I appreciate it, man. Well.